Hi, beautiful Pisces. Welcome to a new era. My name is Emma. Pisces, this is your love reading starting here today, and I've set the time frame to somewhere early March until early April of 2021. So we're going to see what's going on for you in your love story. Uh, if you heard me before, you know that unicorns and peacocks are my indicator that a soulmate connection is around you. And so I'm using my unicorn deck here today as a little treat. Uh, <clears throat> all the decks I'm using, I've listed down below if you're interested in them. Pisces, love story. And this is not a quick fix. It's not a quick fix reading. I take my time to build up the energy. And so it's rather uh, get your get your cup of tea or get your cup of coffee and sit down and have a listen. Pisces, love. We have one card, curiosity. Pisces, love. And. Try something new. <clears throat> Feels like one more wants to come out. There we go. And best friends. Okay, we're going to see what this is about. Curiosity, start a project related to something you're curious about. I just love this horse. They're so... There's something about transparency here. I see this horse almost as being, like this unicorn, almost as being see-through. They're see-through. As I said that, it's like sea. Sea is something, like in the ocean, like see-through. Uh, you're such a water element, like you're such deep water, Pisces, so maybe that's just a connection, but there's something, there's, we, it's something is called for transparency. You need to be transparent about something or you want a situation to be more transparent. Uh, we have the cat there, this beautiful little cat that for me always talks about like loving yourself and respecting yourself. And they're highlighting the sphere, the horn here, um, which is the third eye, which is your intuition, your <clears throat> uh, medical, I was going to say, but it's not at all. Uh, uh, <laughs> Your psychic gifts. I was I was so in the Swedish um, medial. Uh, I was so in the Swedish word and I couldn't find it in, in English. Um, psychic. Your psychic gifts. Uh, they're highlighting them as we speak. So there's something about really paying attention, listening with your intuition. Be see through. Be transparent about something. And then curio curiosity. Like have a child's eye as you look at this whatever this is uh, and then we have try something new uh, you'll only know if you can do something if you try so if this situation if this is the same situation like go in with it with curiosity and transparency and and give it a shot see see what this could be if you don't try you don't know and it seems like and out of the water, like we have sea through water, and out of the water comes this whale and this unicorn and this dolphin, which is like almost three other dimensional, otherworldly species. Uh, like out of it comes something grand that maybe perhaps you weren't really expecting. Uh, best friends, true friends stick together no matter what. It feels a little bit separate to the to the two first cards coming out. Um, there's also something about like whether this is a love relationship, like a romantic love relationship, or whether this is like true friends, your soul tribe. There's some sort of inseparable connection here with you and somebody else. So we're gonna see what all of these uh, are about and and what we find down the road here. So this curiosity, what this is this about? Pisces. Curiosity. <clears throat> okay, the justice card comes out. And so, uh, fight for justice and equality. Uh, rulings made in your favor. Don't give up. So this curiosity and the, the need for, like what I just felt from the beginning, the need for transparency. Transparency. 
there's a situation where you just need to be honest and true. And the more honest and true that you can be, the more the more this justice is going to be in your favor. The more, um, we can also say it in a different way, the more real, um, real is the wrong word, the more pure, the more pure you are within yourself, like the more, the higher vibration you get, the more pure you are in your energy, the, the cleaner, the crystal clear energy that you can sort of harness, that you can sort of produce, if that makes sense the the bigger the justice is going to be in your life like the bigger more authentic true uh situations and people are going to start to show up in your life so it's all is is simultaneously talking about you being in an actual real situation uh, maybe with the law maybe in like in the courtroom maybe you're in some sort of um situation where there's legal documents that needs to be signed and whatnot in this situation like the more transparent you are and the more sort of just true honest things you bring to the table like the justice is going to be served like in your favor but it's also an inner journey the more you are clear the clearer you get the higher vibrational frequency you can achieve the more authentic life is going to start to surround you if that makes sense number eight there talks about infinity it's endless possibilities, it's good karma returns, it's um, something strong you're really manifesting right now. And it talks about bravery and it talks about strength as well. So it's like, it's time to be brave and, and, and see through, transparent. Whatever this is about for you. Um, <clears throat> and then we're gonna clarify, try something new. Excuse me really itchy <laughs> almost looks like I don't have any is that side hair here <laughs> that's a little bit weird okay <clears throat> try something new it's also just one card so 10 of Gabriel ask your angels for helpful people to lighten your load working too many hours trying too hard to please others I am mm, yeah, I, if I'm drawn to anything of like that, it's more like trying to, trying too hard to please others rather than um, this can be like a workaholic type of vibe uh, going on. Like there's just too much on your plate. But today here, I feel with this 10 of Gabriel, because we have like try something new <clears throat> and it's, it's connected in with the curiosity, with the justice thing, this, the transparent thing. Um, I just feel like this is more of, trying too hard to please others. It's just more of like, no, no. It's, it, it's gotta stop here. Like we, you just have to tend to what works for you. Be honest and authentic with yourself, what works for you and be open with it, be transparent about it. Um, and sort of take no one's lead, take, follow no one's uh, orders. I mean, if the judge tells you to do something, you probably basically have to do it. But I don't think that the judge is going to tell you something. They're going to rule something in your favor, whatever this is. Um, I mean, this is obviously, it can be a metaphor. Not every person is going to be like in the in the court system, like in the court system. You don't say that. In the, hmm, I'm not going to think of the name. Not everybody is going to have a legal situation, you know? So this is just take up whatever this is for you that... If there's a situation where you feel like we need to just be more open between each other, we need to talk more openly, we need to be more transparent with each other, and maybe there's somebody else that sort of always wins the, they always win the argument because you sort of just fold because you don't have, which is, which I usually would recommend, like, do you want to win or do you want to feel good? You know, do you want to win the fight to the death? This fight is to the death, you know? Or do you want to feel good? Um, and usually the answer is people want to win. <laughs> they, they just don't cave. And so I feel like you have caved though. Like you have just, because of the peace at work or peace in the in the relationship, it's like you have just followed the rules. You, Somebody has said, this is how it's going to be. And you said, okay, like I don't have the, I don't want to fight. 
this is not the time. There's something going on here that you do not have to follow orders from others. There's something about um, try something new, like go in a different direction. Um, try this out and see how it works and it will work so well for you. 10 is a completion. It's done. We don't have to do this over and over again. We're going to choose a different route. Okay, I want to... I want to get another card on the try something new. Is that also for something else? I can have a different storyline. That's okay. <clears throat> Is that also for something else? Try something new. Five of Ariel. Mm. And I, okay, so I'm feeling that there is actually another storyline here, but they're not going to give it to me, and probably because it's going to be too confusing. So um, sort of not the same thing is not coming out, but it's like uh, you needn't, you didn't, go, <clears throat> sorry, you needn't go your uh, through your current challenges alone. Help is nearby. Negative thoughts create self-fulfilling prophecies. And so this, I just feel like this is the, this is the time where you, cho you choose something new for yourself. It has been quite the stagnant or quite the like situation where it hasn't really gone. It's not necessarily that it hasn't gone your way. It's just, it's time, it's time that you show up as exactly who you are and tell the people around you what you need, what you want. So I see this like the those four symbols being out in the light and then there's a fifth one that is a little bit blurry and it's like we're waiting for this fifth one and when this fifth one comes out you're actually going to try a different route you're going to put your foot down and you're going to sort of say okay we need to talk about this and you need to listen usually I just cave or usually usually I just say you know it's okay whatever you want to do um and it really is okay because you rather do what they want to do than have a big fight about it but this time it's like you go, mm, but this time, you know what? Um, I feel like here's here's what needs to happen. And five is all about great opportunity for change here. You're, you're changing something. I hope this makes sense to you guys. Uh, and then we have best friends. Can we <clears throat> clarify the best friends? Yeah, you needn't go through your current ch challenges alone. So I, now when the, when I sort of repeat the best friend card here, it's like reach out to the people around you and just uh, connect with them and see what they have to say. It's like you have a really good group of friends or you have like one or two really good friends that you strongly connect with. And if you reach out to them, they're for however, lo however long time it goes in between, there's something about like they're just right there and they will be able to help you through this or just have have them as a sounding board. You just sort of throw things out there and have them just listen to you. Um, let me clarify this best friend card. Six of Raphael. <clears throat> so this is just, yeah, embracing your inner child, new friends or rekindled relationships, children or childhood. So just feel like this is somebody, um, so this is a friend that perhaps you have have had ever since childhood, that go, you go back really far, or it's just a feeling of that you've been friends forever. You could have met this person at adulthood as well, but you just have the feeling of, you know, this is your best. You know how you meet just, you meet certain people in your life and you go immediately, like when the first glance and it's like, yeah, so we're friends from now on <laughs> you know it's just that thing and so I just feel like there's a really strong connection with somebody it doesn't doesn't feel like a romantic uh, partnership it feels like a really close like a soul tribe friend like yours it's a soulmate but it comes as a friend package and you can actually be like you can actually be brothers and sisters as well I see these brothers and sisters uh, I mean it's a boy and a girl but that usually represents yin yang but I see this as like a brother and sister situation as well. Like you're, you could be really close to one of your siblings, one of your family members. 
to reach out to them and really talk about your situation. Six is the connection in with your inner being. So yes, get help from your friends. Um, get help from uh, whoever you feel like you need to talk to. But the biggest connection and the biggest healing takes place whenever you connect in with your inner being. That's where the healing takes place because once there's a connection there, there's not a connection, there's not a, what do you say? There's not a lack of con connection anywhere else, really. It can't be because when you're connected to your inner source, you're just connected, basically. What, what is this? I, I sort of can't fully grasp, like I don't have a full picture of what this is. So I, can we just get an, I don't want to sort of leave this. That feels clear and I want to move on to what else do we want to share with you? Can we just sort of an overall, um, what is this about? Be transparent in this situation. You're moving forward. You want to try something new and there's people that maybe have been, oh, trampling all over you like not really taking taking maybe not even being mean or maybe not even intending to but not really paying attention to what you're saying and what you want and what you like perhaps not really fully listening to what you have to say but rather just going their own route but maybe sometimes you're not speaking up, Pisces. Maybe sometimes you they just take you for granted because that's usually like you take the easy way out, which one should, you know? Um, there's something here, again, with the connection in with the inner child or... Yeah, connect in with your community. So the situation that you're in, you've outgrown it. It doesn't work anymore. It doesn't fit anymore. You see that giraffe and how like <laughs> the house is way too small for that giraffe. And it's sort of sticking out its head and it's connecting in with this younger kid. Younger baby. <clears throat> we have um, number eight there again. Infinity, endless possibilities. It's good karma returns. This is your time to sort of get back whatever you have sort of uh, put out there, what you have invested and invested and invested over and over again, good karma returns. So the good stuff comes back to you now. So you've outgrown a situation. It's like I said, if you just be transparent and honest with yourself and with others and realize that, you know, whatever this is, whether this is a relationship that you've outgrown or you're in a beautiful relationship and there's a certain situation, it just doesn't work anymore. If there's something that if there's something that comes up on a regular basis and you just you just uh, don't talk about it, you just like uh, should we no we shouldn't we should move on and do something else instead. And if you were really able to put that on the back burner, like to actually really never ever look at that again, you wouldn't have to. Like it's not like. You know how people say, you know how people say, maybe you don't, but like we think that if we don't tend to it, like it's just going to stay there. Like if you don't deal with it, do you think it's just going to go away? Actually, it is. The more you look at it, the more you activate it. And so if you really truly could leave it be, it actually would disappear. But I feel like this is something that I don't I don't think I don't think it's like where you've been pushed down and pushed down and pushed down and pushed out and then finally had enough, you know? It's not that. It's it is like you are on the same level as somebody else or you are on the same level like at, at a work situation or or whatever this is. It bothers me a bit that I don't sort of have a handle on exactly what it is, but maybe this time it's just not for me to have. And you, you are just completely clear about what this is. Um, it is a situation, though, that doesn't, like, yeah, only this far has it been. It's been okay for It's not the end of the world. Like, I don't have to. Um, I don't know why I'm co comparing it to this. But it's like, uh, <clears throat> can you, can you uh, come with me to my family? We're going to have this gathering. And you say, sure. Like, 
sure, I'll go with you. Um, because, you know, it's going to be a little bit of a fight or it's going to be a little bit of a disappointment if you don't show up. It's not the favorite thing in the world for you to come to a certain thing. Uh, and this time around, it's like you say, you know what? I don't want to go. What? You always want to go. Yeah, I know I say that, but, and it's fine. You know, it's not super bad to go. It's, I quite enjoy myself once I'm there, but you know, today I have other things to do and I just really don't want to go. Do you think you can go instead and I, you will have quality time with who, whatever that is, and I'll have quality time here and we'll see each other later? Just something around those, it, this, I don't feel like you're dealing with a, like a mean person or a mean situation. It's just that you haven't spoken your mind. You haven't been transparent about this. <clears throat> and it has been sort of pushed down a bit. So if you... I don't think it's just like money or the body. Like you take your body with you. Every, like I'm just never going to think, think about my body ever again. Oh, there it is. <laughs> like it's just everywhere. There it is again, you know, or money. Like we use money every single day, basically more or less every single day. There's something that comes up that involves money. And so we can sort of not say that we're just never going to think about money again because money's all around us. In, and if it's not money, it's, <clears throat> it's the very thing that money can buy or, you know. So it's like you can't really, you can't really put this out there and say, we're just never going to think about it again because it is a little bit active within you. Is that big? So I feel like you need to deal with it. And there's some situation here that calls for connection and excuse me and not ha and not have it be so heavy it's like a child's play it's the inner child that wants to come out and explain it it's curiosity try something new uh, go this direction instead of this like can we talk about it in this sense it's not <clears throat> a heavy heavy thing here Something's going to work out in your favor if you just speak your mind. It can also be about a child. It can be about a child. Like it's that inner child of yours, yes. But it can evolve, involve uh, children because we have Gabriel on the table and we have, that, we have the, the embrace your inner child and we have the connection with it, like with a young one here. Can we clarify this uh, community card, please? <clears throat> clarify the community. New beginnings, two and three. So two, two, three. Wow. And then eight, eight. So wow. I can't. I'm not going to sit here and pretend that I sort of, I, I completely get it because today I don't completely get it. There's like, there's like, I don't, I don't fully understand what it is that we're talking about. <clears throat> um, you're starting a new life. You're starting a new life. We have the community card and we're clarifying it and you're starting something new here. It's like you're starting a family or we're, or you're, or we have like this extended family. Maybe your kids are having kids or, you know, something like that it's new beginnings we're starting over it's like okay we're gonna go at it again but we're gonna come we, we're gonna come at it from a different direction like we're gonna try something new here it's new beginnings and, and it's also like an upgrade the 2.0 version of you is here like you've upgraded enormously through this situation you've grown a lot so maybe even though you haven't spoken to certain people about certain things just dealing with it within yourself has made you grown a lot. This is starting a new life, finding your purpose, forgiving and compassionate review of the past. And then comes two and three, 
And one is two of Raphael, two hearts dedicated to creating something wonderful. Kindred spirits, don't give up on those you love. And so I feel like this is more like, a, okay, we've had our quarrels or we had our... <laughs> I was thinking about like, did I use the right word there now? Because sometimes they say you had your squirrels, which is, you didn't have squirrels, but you have quarrels. Um, <clears throat> one is ekorre and the, and the other is gräl in Swedish. <clears throat> Quite the difference. Uh, so you had your quarrels, like you had your little conflicts. There's not really conflicts, but even the non-conflicts, it's so, it's so, like it sounds like I'm talking in mysterious metaphors upon metaphors it's like does anybody get anything of this maybe it's just still just me who doesn't get it um so pisces pisces is such a deep sign like you're such a deep emotional sign and usually there's a lot of things that maybe you do not bring to the surface because if you were going to going to bring everything that you feel in every moment to the surface you're going to bring everything there to the surface every second of every day because you you're such a heartfelt and emotional person that takes in every you're like a sponge like an emotional sponge you know and so you've learned to work with it you've learned to work with it so it just feels like it can even be a conflict that hasn't even been addressed. There's something that both of us or this little group, we know that this is a thing that hasn't really been working. But we're not talking about it. We're not bringing it up to the surface. We're, we know it's touchy-feely. We know it's, it's a little bit infected and it can cause a conflict. And Pisces do not like a conflict. And who does who does really but it's like you've chosen the the highway like you you've chosen the more the bigger person perspective on this and sort of just let it be like okay i'm fine if you're fine like we're fine we probably needed to talk about it but we're just not you know and here is like i i just still feel like i said i don't feel like this other person is a mean person i don't think that that's you're suppressing or has have, have been suppressed in any way not in this particular situation anyway and and it's two people loving each other or there's like a little group setting loving each other like family members loving each other and you're putting the conflict to rest and, and as i say that like you're putting the conflict to rest the conflict that you're putting to rest hasn't been addressed and then we have three the ship is coming in whatever it is that you want is coming in It's solar plexus also. I, I did this whole channeling on the solar plexus activation. So if that is interesting to you whatsoever, it's under um, the community in on my channel here. You can go read it and see if that's helpful to you. Just a little side note there. Uh, but three is all about solar plexus. That's manifestation. That's you knowing your worth and getting exactly what you want out of this. It's a new beginning. You're coming together. As a community, you are understanding we're, 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 we need to address this in a new way. Maybe you need to address this family of yours in a new way. Maybe there's new additions and we need to look at it in a different way now. Like we can't, we can't do everything the same that we've done before because we have new addition to the family. Or but at the same time, it's like you... You're called, like you've been inspired to be transparent right now to just speak your truth and and tell your people around you what you need. Try something new. Okay, if this resonated with one person out there, you're very welcome to come to the extended reading. I'm gonna go in there and see if I find more clarity. Like I said, it might be crystal clear to you, but it's not to me. Um, so I do apologize if it's not to you either let's see if i can find more clarity in the extended reading the link to that is in the description description box down below if not thank you so much for watching and i hope to see you back soon i really hope you will come back okay take care guys bye